going to be spending the next 10 days on board this ship that's going to take me all the way to my final continent, Antarctica. It is going to be insane and we're about to board, so let's get into the video. Woohoo! Over there at the shore, it was sunny and now all of a sudden we're 100 meters offshore and it's freezing, it's windy and it's... <laughs> The journey has begun. We're going full steam ahead to the Drake's Passage. Will we get the Drake Lake or the Drake Shake? Time will tell. For those who don't know, the Drake Passage is where the Atlantic, Pacific, and Southern Oceans meet. The clashing of these three major bodies of water contribute to their chaotic and unpredictable conditions, and most of the time, you're going to be experiencing the Drake Shake, where you're basically forced to experience the scariest ocean conditions in the world. But if you're lucky, you might be blessed with the Drake Lake, which, just like its name, is quite relaxing and calming. But apparently, it only happens 10% of the time. Okay, so we're gonna do the best for us. Let's drink to the best trip of our life, okay? The captain said we're gonna get an authentic Drake's passage, and showers are also illegal. So the nurse gave us Dramamine, which is basically the pills to try and help us get through the next 24 hours of sailing. But um, I'm scared now. I wasn't going to eat these little things because I thought, you know what, I'm stronger than this. Now I am scared. So let's go. Drake, shake me up, baby. What's up, Jordan? What's up, Nate? <laughs> All right, we've officially entered the Drake. So let 48 hours on the Drake's passage begin right now. The first stop on the Drake was breakfast, and people were already feeling it. <laughs> Let me get a close up. All right, that's it. First man down. Oh, my word. We're already one man down. He's going to the room. <laughs> a little birdie told me um, somebody had a pukey puke. I did a little sneaky pukey pukey, but guess what? I bounced back even stronger. I feel good. So I was sick, but I'm also still chilling in the lobby. So holy flip. <coughs> ah, oh my God. That was crazy. I think it's going to be a long day. Crossing the Drake Passage is not for the faint hearted. So doing this adventure in the smallest possible vessel available means that we're playing this game on hard mode and I was struggling. Not only was everything flying around in our room and doors slamming in our face, but everyday tasks like eating food was a disaster. As the days went on, we started to adapt our walking style to the ship, but I'm not going to lie, this voyage was a real test of our endurance both physically and mentally. At one stage, I even turned into Michael Jackson just for a few seconds. <laughs> it's incredibly hard to show you how much the boat was rocking, but it was not for the faint-hearted, as you can fall down and get seasickness at any moment. Oh, oh, he's sick. So the whole day is basically being spent in bed because one, it's too annoying to walk around. Two, you, you get sick. I vomited three times, but I actually don't feel very bad. Vomiting makes me feel good. So yeah, we're just hanging out in bed, waiting for the day to be done. I just looked at a map of how far we've gone. It's felt like an eternity and it's literally nothing. Another two days of this. This is where we are, this is where we're trying to get. We've been on the Drake Shake for 36 hours and we have another 12 to 15 hours left. Apparently, we are heading into a more intense storm. Things are wild, guys. Like, I don't know how to explain the Drake Shake. Basically, I got really sick early on and my body has actually adjusted to the swaying very quickly. So after about three or four hours of vomiting, I have actually been fine. But it is still insane. Like, two days at sea right now. Two days days at sea. We're still not there. I just want to see a cute little penguin. That's the update. The Drake shake is sending me into my brain. My brain does, doesn't understand. Ah! Anyway, the things you got to do for Antarctica. They just announced that the first thing we're doing in Antarctica is the polar plunge. What the heck? And for those who don't know what the polar plunge is, stick around because you're about to find out. It's storm time. Yay! Woo! 
48 hours on the Drake Passage. It is crazy. We only have one more night on the Drake's Passage, which means when I wake up, I'll be officially in Antarctica. I am so excited to get off the Drake Passage. It's so insane. One tip they gave us for sleeping is to put your life jacket under your bed. So you have a slant, so then you don't roll around in the night. So that's what I'm doing. See you in the morning. After two of the craziest days at sea, we actually made it to Antarctica. Let the adventures begin. I'm so glad we're out of the Drake shake. That was the longest two days of my life. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but it was still very long. Yeah, let's go see some penguins. Woo. They just announced our first activity in Antarctica is gonna be the flippin' polar plunge, which means we're about to jump into like one degree ocean water. And wow, I didn't think it would be so soon, but I guess there's no better way to start your trip to Antarctica than just jumping right in there literally. So let's get it. We're just arriving here at the Shetland Islands and it's our first sort of landscapes of the trip. I cannot believe we are in Antarctica. This is incredible. First impression is already better than I thought it could be and I haven't even seen a penguin yet. So in about 10 minutes, that's the water I'm about to dip in. It's literally one degree Celsius or like 36 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm very cold already, so this is going to be insane. All right, time to plunge. <laughs> Uh, all right, the feet are already numb. <laughs> Dude, I can't even feel my feet are not even in there yet. <sighs> Should I just go in? I need a rope! I need someone to pull me out! Let's go! Woohoo! My feet are absolutely numb. I the, the worst part is now I have to walk 10 meters. After two days on the Drake Shake, I never thought I'd be happy to see this boat, but I'm so happy to see this boat. My feet are like burnt. I took a long shower and I am back and the sun has come out and we have a whole afternoon still in Antarctica. Woo! That was one of the worst feelings ever. The feeling of your feet and your shins and your legs completely numb to your body. That is like bone chillingly the worst. But what an experience now that I'm warm again. What an experience. Out of nowhere, we see our first little penguin. <laughs> our first Antarctica sunset. And if you didn't know, only if you come at the end of the season can you actually get sunsets because during peak season, the sun doesn't really set as much because it's pretty much 24 hour daylight. So we get blessed with sunsets for coming at the end of March. Perfect. And remember to subscribe because the Antarctic adventure has only just begun.